Developing a new therapy is really a lengthy process. That's what's so exciting about where we are today. We're really at a point where after more than a decade and a half of work on the part of my collaborator, Dr. Haiyan Fu and Doug McCarthy at Nationwide Children's Hospital, we're really at the point where we're about to test this viral gene therapy for the first time in patients. We wouldn't be at this point without the support of the San Filippo Children's Research Foundation. They've really done an incredible job of helping us bring us, bring us to the, really at the cusp of therapeutic trials. Uh, you know, this is, uh, a, the, the, the process to get here has included long uh, years of testing in animal models, testing for toxicity that's acceptable to the FDA. Now our big effort is making enough of the virus, raising the funds to make enough of the virus to deliver to patients. All of these steps have relied on contributions of the SCRF and other foundations like them that have really spearheaded the work, uh, spearheaded funding for the work. Well, you know, there is sort of a misperception about uh, the role of the FDA. The FDA's job is not really to impede research or impede progress. Their job is to make sure that what we do is safe, that what we propose to do is safe and has a, a meaningful chance of improving life for a patient with this disease. So the FDA is appropriately very cautious. We are using a virus to deliver a gene and our target is the brain. So they've asked some pretty detailed questions about what we plan to do and we've had to really show, and before we finally do it, we'll make a final package where we, we really show all of our toxicology data, everything to show that we can do this safely. Uh, but th there is a sort of misperception that they're dragging their feet uh, in a way, and really they've been, they're partners in developing this in a way. They've given us good guidance about what's required for us to bring this forward. One of the advantages for us as a, uh, as a uh, what we consider an investigator-driven trial, we have this is developed out of, uh, out of our center, out of uh, investigators to do it, not out of a company, for example, uh, developing a new therapy. We have partnered now and licensed the potential therapy with the company, but it's really driven by the work, the scientific work that's been uh, in our hands for, for more than a decade. Well, collaboration is critical, and it's important to know that we really consider our interactions with the SCRF as a collaborative process. So as we develop, for example, an ongoing study we're doing in Nationwide Children's called a natural history study, a study of following patients with San Filippo disease over a period of a year in a way that we, we know what we can measure in an eventual clinical trial in developing that protocol, in developing funding for it, and all of those issues, the SCRF has been really a collaborator as well as a, as a funder. They've played a, a great role in trying to uh, bring together groups from uh, other continents that work on these, uh, these, uh, uh, these diseases as well. You know, ultimately, we don't want to just treat people in Columbus, Ohio, or people in Toronto, Canada. We want to treat people all over the world with this disease. So it's important that we interact with foundations like SCRF all around the globe. Clinical trial is really the milestone we've all been wanting to reach. It's not the finish line. It's an experiment to know whether what we've shown works in animals is safe and effective in humans. But we've reached a point where we can't get more information from the animal models about whether this is going to work or not. It's such a critical milestone to say now we've learned everything we can about it up to this point. Now is the time to figure out the, the big question. Does it do what we want it to do in people or not? Does it, is it safe? Does it improve their life in a meaningful way? So for us it's you know, the, the holy grail is to be able to put a, a, a gene in and, and, and fix a disease. Knowing whether we can ultimately do that, the very first important milestone is doing this first, first in human trial, as we call it. We feel that our work has implications for other diseases beyond San Filippo disease. Clearly, our goal is to replace a missing gene or, 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 or to, to deliver a missing gene to cells in the brain. And there are other diseases that are also affected by a, a, a gene that's non-functional in the central nervous system as well. Everything we learn from this study, from this upcoming trial, everything we learn about the effectiveness of our ability to use this kind of virus, we call it an AAV virus, our ability to put AAV and get it into the brain will inform other trials that we're planning and other people are planning targeting the brain.
I think what the Lintons have done here is extraordinary, both in building this foundation and in catalyzing the community, catalyzing the community particularly here in Canada, but across North America as well. Really, this is my first time at, at the gala here. It's just incredible to see the number of volunteers, people I've talked to, I've learned, have come back year after year to take part in this, in this uh, gala, to raise these funds. You know, their foundation is quite remarkable. Essentially, all of the money they raise goes for research, now goes for making the virus to deliver in the trial. It's really an extraordinarily efficient way to do things, and I think uh, the, the, the number of people here helping them, the number of people who volunteered year after year is a testament to how they've mobilized the community here and what models they are for the community at large. Patient foundations like the SCRF, founded by families affected by the disease, play an increasingly critical role in catalyzing research. In the U.S., the, the budget for funding for research has always been tight. It varies from year to year. And rarer diseases sometimes get less attention, less spotlight, and uh, less resources to move things forward in this translational step, going from the bench to the patient. Foundations like the SCRF play, the, play a, a critical role in providing uh, seed funding for important projects, for uh, uh, targeting uh, support for critical steps in the development of a trial, now for uh, helping to support the production of the virus that will be delivered in the trial. There are several special features about San Filippo disease that makes it really challenging to think about therapy. So the enzyme that's missing in each of the forms of San Filippo disease causes problems with multiple tissues, uh, but really significantly affects the central nervous system. So it's very hard, it's hard for families, it's hard for friends, it's hard for uh, re researchers studying the disease to watch a child develop, reach a plateau, and then start to decline. One of our challenges is to try to interrupt deterioration of the brain at a point uh, when we can save as much function as we can. To recognize the disease earlier is a challenge and then to target the brain with a virus to reach into the brain. It's, there's a barrier between the blood and the brain that we have to be able to cross to deliver anything effectively there. All of these components make this a, a challenging uh, disorder to treat. We think that we have really addressed several of these concerns in our way of delivering it, in our way of really cataloging many of the patients in North America who would be potential candidates for therapies for this, and we're very optimistic that we're going to be able to interrupt this in a meaningful way.